friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing with some new launches from DD Signature. So if you guys are nosy and you want to see what they are, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post, and without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so DD Signature sent me some of their new goodies that are launching on their website on the 15th. So if you guys are interested in any of these, this is the video for you. First of all, I have one of their brushes that they used to carry on their website, and I'm guessing they're bringing these back, but I had two of these. I did give them away because I wasn't using them enough, but how fun is this if you have a friend that is a makeup lover, that's also a wine lover. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of those types of people out there. So this could be a fun gift for you, but how cool. And it's like a nice fluffy synthetic brush. Could be great for like blush application or like powder your whole face. My blush is so intense today, y'all, but it's going to come together, okay? I'm going to need y'all to not judge me. But anyways, we also have these cool lippies launching. So I think these are like multi-chromes or duochromes, but I'm going to swatch them for you. We have the shade Dazzling Berries and Pomegranate Luster. These look so gorgeous. They had some lip swatches on a darker skin tone on their Instagram page, and I was just like swooning over the swatches. So this is the shade Dazzling Berries, and it's just like green and pink. So that's super pretty. And then a pomegranate luster looks amazing on a deep complexion. So I don't know if I'm brave enough, but it's that green berry flip like multi-chrome that I've seen in a lot of eyeshadows. I personally don't have a lot of stuff like this that is a lipstick formula, but I am wearing a lip shade, a matte lipstick from Lunar Beauty. This is the shade Abyss from his Siren Sunset line. So I thought that this would pair really well together, but I'm not going to put it on right now. I'm going to wait for my lip to dry. It hasn't quite fully dried down yet, but those are the two lip shades they're launching. Not sure how much these are going to retail for, but I feel like that's kind of a cool product for them. And of course, you know that I have to try any palettes they come out with. So they sent me their new Jingle Bell Ruby Eyeshadow Palette. And I did film some close-ups and swatches for you guys to see. So this is a beautiful holiday-themed palette. It's got some reds, it's got some greens, but it looks very vibrant. Absolutely stunning on deep skin tone, which I love. So if you're in the market for something festive, this might be it for you. So there's 12 pans. There's six high intensity duochrome shades, six buildable high quality matte shades. And this is priced at $32 USD, which I think is a great price point for all of these colors. You can also use a code if you'd like. I have one, it's KH Makeup. No obligation, of course, for you to use my code. But I always like to mention when I have one because Everybody loves saving money and I will also make a small commission on that. So thank you in advance if you ever use any of my codes or links. It really helps me out. But I think I've talked your ear off just about enough. Let's go ahead and dive into a look. So my last video was with the Bella Beauté Bar Jeweled Palette. And I did a green, blue, and a red purple look. So... I kind of want to do something different, but I swatched this palette and the greens are like totally calling to me. So I'm gonna do a green eye look, even though I have a red kind of sweater on, and I'm probably gonna go out to dinner later, but I feel like that's gonna be fun. Like a green eye look works with everything in my opinion. So I did my makeup kind of more in berry tones because I thought the green would be a nice contrast. So yeah, I'm going to start off with this shade called Santa's Tree. It's the dark green shade, and we're just going to put that on the outer corner. So there's some beautiful matte greens in this palette, and I just want to start off with kind of the darkest looking green. Nothing like super duper dark. Like, I don't see like a deep green in here, but this one is super cute. 
And I just want to blend that all over the outer corner. Same on this eye. I've never had a problem with Dee Dee's eyeshadow formulas and this one seems to be working just as well as any other time I've tried her eyeshadow so I'm just very happy about that. Okay next I'm going to use the same brush and go into the shade called Noel Night. It's a beautiful green as well. I love shades like this. Okay so that shade in the pan looks very different but on the eyes they don't really look that much different. It almost looks like I'm blending the same shade all over the crease. So I'm going to go into Bright Ruby. That's an interesting name um, for a green eyeshadow, but I'm going to use that in the crease instead, starting in the inner corner and blending it into that shade called Santa's Tree. Kind of bummed that those two shades look so similar on my eyelids because it just looks like I put the same green all over the lid so I might actually have to dip into a red or like a burgundy shade from this palette just to kind of create some contrast because you know a bee loves her contrast so I'm just trying to blend and I think for my lid shade I really loved the look of Crispy Holiday, but this shade called Crispy Tree was also stunning. Ah, oh, they're all so beautiful. Maybe I can use all three of these shades and just kind of layer them in bits. So let's let's try that and see. So I'm gonna grab a flat brush and I'm gonna start off with Crispy Tree, which is such a pretty teal shade. And I'm gonna give it a little spray as always. Starting on the outer corner, I'm just going to kind of stick that right there on the very edge. How beautiful is that? I love Dee Dee's metallic shadows. They're so nice and so intense. And I feel like for the price point, not just for the price point actually, I mean for much more I've gotten crappier eyeshadows. Granted, like here's the thing, right? People with custom formulas, everybody has their preference. I don't mind paying for custom formulas, but I also don't mind a formula that isn't custom, as long as it does the job and I like the color story and it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg, like I don't mind that at all. So next we're gonna go into Olive Penguins. <laughs> That's an interesting name, give it a spray and we're gonna kind of stick that on the middle part of the lid. Oh, that's pretty too. And then the inner corner shade is gonna be Crispy Holidays. And we're gonna give it a spray and we're just gonna pop that on the inner corner. Okay, how fun, right? Like, I'm so here for it. Give it to me. This is so right up my alley. So right up my alley. Okay, so for funsies, I'm gonna use a white eyeliner. This is from Tarte. This is the Fake Awake. Just gonna run that on the waterline quick. Okay, I'm gonna do Null Night in the lower lash line just to kind of try it out and see. I was gonna deepen it up, but I'm like, you know what? I like a good light, like mid-tone green and lighter eye look. Kind of reminds me of the look I just posted with the Fantasy Cosmetica collection, the Lost Library one. It has some beautiful holographic, holo, hologram? I don't know what the word is. Holographic eyeshadow singles. And I just used a green shade as a matte shade for the look. And then I just did a really pretty like mid-tone green eye. And I didn't need to deepen it up and I was totally okay with it. So just trying different things, but <laughs> this is totally so me. So I love it so, so much. Just need to throw on some mascara and finish up the look. But let's go ahead and apply 
this lip product, the Pomegranate Luster. I'm a little nervous because it looked very pigmented. Holy bananas. That's very cool. I don't want to put too much on. I don't want like the lip product to kind of like get everywhere, but that is a very like holiday, multi-chrome, just delicious color to go on, especially like a berry shade like this. So I don't wear a lot of things like this on my lips, but I will give anything a try. So let me go ahead and throw on some mascara, finish up the look. I don't know if I'm gonna do something with this hair. It is so like fizzy, frizzy. I like washed it yesterday and <laughs> I haven't done anything to it other than just like tie it up in a bun. So I'll figure that out and I will be right back to give you guys my thoughts on this palette and these lip products. Okay, friends, so here is the finish look. What do you guys think? I had so much fun putting this together. I really quick want to let you know what else is on my face today. So I'm furiously trying to finish up this Natasha Denona Foundation X, and we're getting there. I'm also wearing the Pat McGrath Bronzer. This is the shade Desert Glow. Blush is this one from Persona, an old favorite in the shade of violet. It's like a bright red blush. And for my highlighter today, I'm wearing the Safari Sunset shade from What's Up Beauty. I was gonna film with their new palette, but then this one showed up from DD Signature, so I decided to film with this instead. I really wanna do like a multiple palettes, multiple looks video, just to kind of put everything together, cause I feel like I'm doing a lot of eyeshadow palette videos, but I film them as they come in, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and just talk really quick about this palette. I think the quality is absolutely beautiful. I think the swatches speak for themselves. It has a very nice shimmer formula. Definitely reminds me of brands like Sugar Drizzle and It's Bell and the price point is very similar too. So if you're looking for a solid holiday palette, this might be the one for you. Like I mentioned, this is launching on the 15th. And this was sent to me. I am an affiliate of the brand, so if you use my code KH Makeup on the DG Signature website, you can save. Of course, you don't have to use my code, but I just want to mention that I do have one with the brand. And I think that's it. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I do have a DD Signature playlist, so if you're looking for any other reviews or first impressions on their other products, you can check that out. I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye, friends.